any stone which is damaged. So we're learning the laws of base of Bechira, Rambam, it's customary in these days. Any stone which is damaged, cracked, split, or broken in any way, even if the breach in the stone was not made by iron, the stone is disqualified. To the extent that a nail will become caught in it and passing over it, as in the case regarding a slaughtering knife, is disqualified for use in the altar or the ramp, as it's written in Deuteronomy 27.6. You shall build the altar of Hashem with whole stones, avonim shleimers, even though this Pesach described the altar to be built by the, by, by the Jews when they cross the Yadin, it teaches us fundamental principles regarding the temple's altar. From where would you bring the stones of the altar? From virgin earth. They would dig until they reach a point which was obviously never used from tilling or for building, and they would take the stones from there. These lines are also taken from Midois. The Ravon quotes the Mishnah here rather than in the following Allah to emphasize that even a breach which was not caused by contact with iron could disqualify a stone for use. To find stones of this nature, it was necessary to dig in the manner described. Listen to this. From where would they bring the stones of the altar? From virgin earth. They would dig until they reach a point which was obviously never used, what we call today bedrock. Why rock? Bed rock. I don't know. Because you're reaching rocks. Right. That's what it tells you. From where would, you, would they bring the stones of the altar? From virgin earth, they would dig until they reach a point which was obviously never used for tilling or for building, and they would take the stones from there. Alternatively, they would take them from the Mediterranean Sea and build the, and build with them. Similarly, the stone of the temple were whole. They were all uh, complete. It says in the book of Kings, chapter 6, verse 7, And the house was built with whole stones, as they were brought in. However, as explained in Allah 8, the laws governing the stones of the of the temple and the courtyard were more lenient. They could be smoothed with iron tools outside the temple mount. So the, the stones of the Mizbeach seemingly were the most uh, stringent. Yeah, how did I get those stones up from the bedrock? Lots of digging. No, but I'm saying without metal, it's kind of tough. Okay, that's the halacha of today.